Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Beehive and welcome back to another Help Me Rhonda video. You guys don't mind the mess. I have been filming rescue videos for you guys today, trying to get ahead on some of our videos because we are going on vacation next week and I just wanna have something that I can upload for you guys. And these are recipes that I promise you, you want to make. I am sharing with you the best of my most favorite meals, dishes, snacks, and such that I make, and I'm sure you will not be disappointed. <laughs> All right, so today's recipe, we are going to be making guacamole. Okay, fun fact, I used to hate avocado, guacamole, everything, all that, uh, until I went vegan a little over a year ago, and now it's like something I make weekly, <laughs> which is probably not bad because I eat it with chips, and those are not the greatest to eat it with, but hey, you know, I love me some guacamole. And this recipe will not disappoint you, I promise. So this is a small batch, all right? So feel free to double this if you have a large group. But what I'm gonna make is, I'm gonna use three avocados. You're gonna need diced jalapenos. And I like to use the ones in the jar because they're kinda already softened from marinating in their juices and things like that. Um, but by all means, you can use a, a jalapeno and chop it up. It'll just be a little crunchier. Garlic powder. Thank you, Haley, for that tip. Lemon and lime. Very important. Some people just put lime. I do both. And cilantro. Again, this is dried cilantro, but feel free to use fresh cilantro, which is always better. And then red onion. All right. Now, some of the tools that I'm using, I have a knife, uh, a tablespoon, and I have here, like it's a whisk for a drink. My friend Jen gave it to me and she's like, this is the best thing to mash avocados. And I swear she's right. <laughs> so it's like a, a mixer for a mixed drink. It's perfect. All right, let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and get our avocado cut up and placed in our bowl here. To slice these up I just do just a quick chop um, that way when it's in the bowl it's easier to chop and not such large pieces but by all means do what you want I used to put this in a food processor and do it and I guess if you were making like a really large batch of guacamole but for such a small batch like this it takes no time and again, I'm sure Brooke's going to come home. I made another recipe for you guys. And she will probably have that and this. Brooke never used to like guacamole either until I started making it all the time. And then Haley, her friend, was like, girl, guacamole is the best. <laughs> so she gave it a try. And now she loves it. She'll come home and, did you eat all your guac? I'm like, yeah, Brooke, I eat all my guac. <laughs> These avocados have some spots in them. I promise you, it is not going to overflow. Looks like it is, right? <laughs> oh, I did forget one ingredient. If you want to, you can also add salt. Sometimes I add it and sometimes I don't. Okay, next I'm gonna be adding a half a tablespoon of lemon and lime each, again, use fresh lemon and lime it'll give it the best flavor this is just what i have on hand and now i'm just going to mash this up some people like their uh guacamole a little chunky so if you don't want to mash all your chunks up if you've cut it into chunks leave some chunky in there that's really good some people also enjoy putting uh tomatoes in there like aroma tomato I don't do it. Um, Brooke does not like tomatoes. And so when I make this, I try to make it as universal for everybody. Um, ben actually has tried it before too, and he likes it. But you can see with that little bit of juice, it really uh, makes it nice and smooth. It's very, very good. I'm done with my little blender. And now for the garlic powder, I usually use about a half a teaspoon See if I have enough in here. Don't quite have half a teaspoon. Let me get my other jar. Half a teaspoon, I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top because 
We're gonna be stirring this up again here soon anyway. For the dried cilantro, I will add probably about a tablespoon, maybe even a tablespoon and a half. Tablespoon looks good. I'm gonna leave it at a tablespoon. And then for the jalapenos, you know, you can actually omit this if you want, if you don't like jalapenos, but oh man, I'm telling you what. I usually put in about a tablespoon. That looks about right. I might even put a little bit of the brine in there as well. And lastly, we wanna cut up some onion. Again, there's really no real measurement here. It's whatever you prefer. Brooke actually will say, Mom, you put too many uh, red onion in there. So that's what, about three slices? You all saw that? About three slices? Let's see. And some of these, it looks like I might have to cut. <laughs> she likes the red onion, but not a whole lot of it. I did about three slices of chopped onion there. And that should be plenty. All right, now that I have all my onion in, I'm gonna go ahead and get all the ingredients combined and mixed. Well guys, that is it. This is the best guacamole that I've ever made. So I hope you guys give it a try. But that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any other recipe ideas, head over to our community tab, or if you're watching on Facebook, comment down below, uh, maybe what other recipes you'd like to see, and I can bring those to you. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you're new and don't forget to buzz that like button. See you guys tomorrow. All right, so here's my taste tester of the guac. What do you think? Very garlicky today. Is it? Better than usual. Really? Okay. A plus guys, there it is. Looks so good.